Sketch. Hey, welcome back. You're watching Yum Sketch, and this is a continuation of our character designing series. So last time we were working on a scared hippie character who was like a nervous hippie character who's afraid of cats. So here's where we got. We worked on the head. We worked on the uh, the body. If you're interested in those, check out the uh, previous videos. But we also said he was going to be more like a Pacific Northwest hippie, so he needs a flannel. So let's make a flannel version. So we can have a t-shirt version for reference. That's good. Let's make an additional flannel version. So flannel is pretty easy. Flannel is basically just a normal dress shirt that has a couple of things. It has pockets. So let's draw some pockets on there. Okay, there's a pocket, there's a pocket, and it has like stripes and patches, or you know, it has the flannel pattern. So just draw some lines on there. There we go, so lines that way, and then they come this way. All right, and then it's up to you how you wanna, how you wanna do that, but this is how flannel works. You just have some cross lines, and you have some up and down lines. The pockets have that too. Let's see, there we go. And then you can do this thing where you, you know, you can thicken the lines in certain areas, or you could do a thing where you do it like a checkerboard and you fill in certain squares, um, and it's usually actually all the squares in a line. So you can decide how to do the exact patterning. Um, I'm gonna do kind of a, because real panel, uh, flannel is like, it's got light squares and then dark squares and then light squares and then dark squares across one line. But I just want to kind of make it flannel-y because it'll be annoying to draw this character if he's got like an intense flannel all the time. Um, so I'm just going to make it lumberjacky. All right, so there you go. So I'm just going to thicken those lines up across the horizontal. Good, and then his arms, same thing. Boom, 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 boom. Let's give him that patchwork. There you go. All right, now he's got that Pacific look, the lumbered look. All right, good. Although I, I understand, we said hippie, and this is throwing him one step towards just straight hipster. I get that, but you know what? It's too late to turn back now. We're just gonna go with this. Uh, he's a, you know, modern age hippie. All right, so this is easy. If you have a, you know, you can just play dress up. If you design some clothes, just snap them on there. <laughs> That's kind of snazzy, all right. <laughs> Not too bad. Uh, and then once you get it where you want it, let's say right there. Then, if you actually do that on another layer, which is a, kind of a neat thing to do, you can just erase out under there so that you get a better view of what's going on. So I'm just going to erase that, erase this, just erase everything under that jacket. But again, remember, this is a design, so it can actually, oh, that, that was one step too far, but uh, it's uh, a jacket and it's a design for the jacket. So it, as long as we can uh, see what's going on, that's enough. It doesn't have to actually be perfect. We just have to know when we're using this for reference and we're drawing, I really like erasing those hands, don't I? Um, that we can say, okay, here's a version with jacket. Here's a version, uh, no jacket. Um, and you know, maybe sometime he'll look like this. Sometimes he'll be dressed like this, I'll have the coat off. This kind of makes him look a little bit more nervous so, okay, so I like this, but one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop this layer down. So you can just merge that down. Where's my merge down? There we go. Um, so that now this is one thing. And in fact, we can just do the same thing. Just merge that down. So this is our, our character design. And then, um, you know, you can uh, adjust this. So this is what a shirt looks like, but I want him to be, again, a weak character. So I'm just gonna, I don't want his shoulders to be too strong. So I'm going to like make him look a little bit weaker just by pulling his shoulders in. There we go. Like giving him more of, of a slumpy, slouchy look. Um, and yeah, that's pretty good. All right. I like that. So, um, so we got our character. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to take this character 
and we want to um, put him in a pose. We want to kind of start to play with him and think about like what he's going to be in context. Now, this is enough of the design that now we can move into the actual drawing. So we're going to draw something um, to kind of pose this guy out. So here's our reference. Um, let's pop just into a new layer here so we can just do some drawing here. So um, we know what this guy looks like now. Uh, and now what we want to do is kind of think about like, what kind of pose would this guy find himself in? What kind of personality? So now we actually get to do that part that you've probably been waiting for, which is like drawing a character in a character pose. This is just the blueprint. This is the design. Now uh, we're going to take this blueprint and we're going to pose it out. So uh, first thing is when you think about a pose, pose is the same as the, these designs. You work big, big to small. So don't start by drawing an eyeball and eyelashes because you have, you know, by the end of this drawing, it's all going to go wrong because you don't have any idea about where those things should go. You don't have any context. Um, don't even start by, um, you know, like adding things you don't need, like start with a gesture. So a gesture is something like this. This is a line of action, which tells me like, where is he, where he's going to go. So if he's sitting down, it's going to be like that, right? If he's lying down on the ground, it's like that. If he's like running forward, you know, he's like, it's like dashing forward like that. If he's just standing still, it's still not a straight line, right? Straight line is what this is. The line of action of this is just a straight line and it's boring and it's just because it's the blueprint. But when someone's moving, even if they're standing still, you want their line of action to have motion. And this is a way bigger topic that we're, uh, you know, that I, I go into in other videos. And so I'm not gonna worry about it here. But so, you know, when I start posing a person using these lines of action, you can see that because I gave it some motion in the line of action, then like the pose has life. That's the whole idea behind gesture drawing. So I'm not going to go into gesture drawing here, but basically that's what we're going to use. So I just wanted to bring it up. So he's scared. So I want him to kind of have like this kind of gesture. I want him to sort of like recoil where he's like jumping back, right? He's like seen something that scared him and he's jumping back. So let's just put uh, like this kind of thing or maybe this kind of thing or even like that kind of thing where his head's back here and he's like, oh, damn. So we'll put his head in here just as a rough guide. Remember, we already built these basic shapes. So now when you're drawing him again, it's it starts to be easier because we already know what the shapes are that make him. He is kind of a, a cylinder shape, like a little thin cylinder and a square, a box for his hips. Uh, some tubes or some cylinders for his legs or if you want to think about it like cones because they kind of do come down like this they you know they get thinner so um, so I'm gonna just have him kind of go like oh so maybe he's like this where he's leaning back or maybe he's even going crazy like oh sh shoot and he's like scared and he's jumping up I, I like that better so let's give him more like this so this is this would be his and this looks like scribbles, but you know, I'm thinking through this in terms of motion because I want the pose to be like lively, right? Um, so this is his left leg on his left, you know, on the left part of him. And then this is the right hip and then that would be the right leg, right? So this leg connecting to this hip, his toe could be kind of pointing or it could be coming up like, ah, or it could be going back. Like, we'll just have to figure that out. Um, kind of like the idea that, you know, he's like jumping back and he's just, Almost, he's like kind of reeling so he'll be back on his toes here remember he's got sandals so he's got sandal here sandal here and then he's got his toes so toes up in the air and his feet like that so here's his foot here he's got his toes here and uh, honestly this is I'm doing exactly what I said not to do like drawing toes before the body's worked out so uh, take my own advice so He's got his jeans here, so they're gonna crinkle there. And then nice skinny jeans, so that's good. Um, we, you can decide again, like these are all things like if you're animating and stuff like that, you actually have to decide like do the knees bend and stay like as tubes when he bends his knee, do you get like a hard edge? Um, those are all stylistic choices and that's up to you and um, I'm just gonna, be loose with it. I'm going to just have him kind of tubey and bendy. Um, so let's see. So he comes down here. He's got his wrinkle in his jeans here. This is coming in here. 
good so there's his jeans and then um, for his arms so he's got his shoulder back here I want him to like pull his shoulder back so remember draw the shoulder as a separate shape either as a circle or a triangle or just like a square that you draw through or a bar but just remember like you have a scapula and so your arms are actually out here and don't put them just on the body because that's not where your arms go and then also you lose all the shoulder motion so your your shoulders can do all this motion in like this range so your shoulders can go low so they slump they can like pop up so they crunch up in your neck right so i'm gonna go for like a you know his shoulders like up here because he's like ah jumping back and so I could do like this kind of thing where his arms coming out in front of him like there and he's like scared. That's kind of fun. I think that would be okay. I could do something like this where he's just kind of throwing his arms back and like, oh, oh, that would be good. I could do something like this where he's like, his, he's jumping back this way and then kind of his hands like that. So you can see that uh, kind of looks like I'm animating him and maybe he, he is making this motion like he moves his arm back if I was going to animate that maybe that's what he does but uh, since this is just a drawing I'm just giving myself choices and the reason I'm drawing so loose at this point is because now I don't care about erasing these things because it's easy to erase a line it's hard to erase a finished drawing that you spent time on because you don't want to because you spent time on it <laughs> so I think all of these are pretty cool good options and then let's take a look at his right arm this is his left arm Let's take a look at his right arm. So he could do this. He could come down and like come up like that. And then, you know, maybe his thumb goes out and he's like this. That's kind of good. I think this one and this one together work pretty well. Like, see, he's like, ah, but it also kind of looks like he's falling. I want it to look a little bit more like he's scared. So, um, you know, like this one, if I did this combo, he'd be like, whoa, bro. And then this one. This is kind of good. It looks like he's like stepping back and he's afraid of it. So I kind of dig that. Um, that actually might work pretty well. So, but, or I could draw it like this where he's like, no to something. Where he's like, no, stay away from me. And I kind of like that. He's afraid of something. Or I could just kind of go like up here. Anyway, let's just pick something. Um, I kind of dig this just cause it's a little bit more extreme. So let's, let's go with this big flail. All right, so this is good. And then um, he'll, maybe he'll be like this. Um, whoa, like that. Okay, so here's his arms. And there's this arm. Okay, so now we got to think about his clothes a little bit. So he's got his tight pants coming up here. And he's got his belt, right? And we can give him a little bit more of a butt. All right. Uh, and there's his belt coming across. Uh, and then... He's got his tight jeans, probably little pockets, and then he's got his tucked in shirt, right? With his heart um, kind of coming like this. So he's got that shirt tucked in, coming like that. He's got the heart on the shirt, but it's at an angle, so I gotta draw it weird, all right? Okay, and then he's got his uh, flannels. So, you know, the flannels got the collar here. That's like that. This is like this. Cool. and then uh, it's gonna like fly open because he's jumping back so I can he's not a button button up kind of guy so he's got the flannel on but it's flying back so that can go here that can go like that so there's his flannel I'm gonna clean this up a little bit all right so here we go so here's his arm the sleeve to the flannel Let's just do that. There we go. So flannel pulls across. It gets bunched up in his elbow. And then he's got his, uh, the, you know, the cuff. I forget words. I forget words. All right, so here's the cuff to the flannel. That's cool. Um, and then that's also bunching up here. We got the flannel there. And then it's up. It's like, should his shoulder be up like this, like bunched up? maybe or should it be like back yeah let's go back just kind of get it out of the way all right so there and then he's got this cuff again flannel flannel good love it okay and then um we said he had tiny hands so we can draw hands a little bit smaller than these but so here's his flannel maybe it's flying up like this um 
I don't want him to look like he's got a boner, so so let's see. Maybe I can get a better silhouette. There we go. Maybe the flannel flies back like that. Um, mm, yeah, so there. That's that's good. Okay, so there's the flannel just kind of flying back behind him, maybe like that. And then uh, we can add all those patterns and details later, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Just indicate that it is flannel to myself. All right, okay, so we got him uh, in his basic uh, pose, and we could clean this stuff up. But this is actually good enough to do uh, uh, like a clean drawing off of. So let's just draw his face in a little bit, and then we'll get the rest of that. So um, in goes his face. Remember, he's got big, small, and then he's got this kind of uh, curving nose, like a little hook nose. He's got a little handlebar mustache, which is going to be up in surprise because basically he's making this face, right? So handlebar mustache. Um, we got the little kind of like a, a beard, little under chin beard line. So in it goes like that. And um, he's got low ears, so he's got these little ears that come down low, his beard goes back in here, and then he's got these eyes like, oh dang, and uh, let's make him look a little bit more afraid, like he's looking over here, and then we'll go, oh, like, oh no, because he's got that kind of this, you know, that's that's his character because he's a scaredy guy. All right, so let's just give him a hair that's somewhat similar to the hair we gave him over here, and let's get that cheek that we had, gave him. So yeah, so we can give him all this stuff. He kind of had a little alfalfa thing. Okay, and then he's got his like kind of shoulder length sort of grungy hair. All right, so then the last thing is he's got a, a little neck, little thin neck, and we kind of have that poke out so he just looks a little like surprised. So there, so there, now we have our um, surprised hippie and he's uh, totally surprised by something. He's all shocked and um, we can give him his toes here, kind of clean up some of these lines that aren't as wonderfully drawn. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I have a sketch for this pose. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab an even smaller brush so I get like a nice detail brush. Let's go down here. There we go. Nice detail brush and I'm going to go on a new layer. Now um, this is an easy thing to do. So go onto that layer that you just drew and just drop the opacity down to like really light. Like you could even go like there. You can still see that, right? So it doesn't have to be um, uh, very visible. You just want it as a guide. And again, like the most drawing, most painting, drawing, all of it is all about like uh, redrawing, like getting something to where you know what you're drawing so you're not just drawing um, out of your head. And then uh, coming in there and cleaning it up. See, I could even go less. This is like 10% opacity and it's plenty for me. So there we go. And now in any order you like, it doesn't really matter. Um, you could start with his head, you could start with his whatever. Uh, you just get in there and do the line work that you want. So this is where it actually matters, like technique, and you would pick your whatever. Like up until now, you would, you you know, I've been using my own custom brushes, but um, you could use anything. Like it literally doesn't matter because you're just sketching this stuff out. Now is where it does matter, and you would want to pick your the actual brushes that you want to use and um, the style that you want to draw in and just be a little bit more careful about uh, what you're drawing. So, but I want this to be done quick because um, what I'm trying to show you is character um, in this video series. Um, less illustration stuff, we can do that in other series. So um, I'm just gonna go through this real quick because I want you guys to see, you know, start to finish how this works. Okay, and then the other thing is uh, we did character design here uh, for this character and we're fleshing him out. Obviously to explore this character you'd want to do more poses. Um, you could do, you know, like uh, head turns and um, body turns where you draw 
them from, uh, you know, do a turnaround and draw them from various angles. So what does he look like from the back? What does he look like from the right, from the left? But um, because you can actually imagine that stuff, by the way, if I'm wrong about that and you cannot imagine that stuff, let me know and we'll make a video about it. But, um, the, you know, I think that you could probably imagine most of that stuff. And um, so what you're, you know, what, what I really wanted people to get out of this was just the overall idea of like how to create the, so these fresh ideas, not not like how to technically, you know, draw a turnaround, which is mo more of a just a technical skill, um, but like the creative skill of like how do you um, come up with something like from nothing, and uh, and I think we've done a pretty good job of that, of that here, um, and of course like if you have a story and it's medieval and you have you need a warrior and you need a this and you need a that you're going to have more characters um, and more to plan off of. Like for us, since we were just making this based off of nothing, you know, we could just say it's a hippie who's afraid of cats and he's like nervous all the time. And that's enough. But you'll probably actually have more to go on. And the more you have to go on for your character, the actually the easier all this stuff gets um, because you don't have to guess about, you know, oh, well, this is what they'd wear because they have to because it's, you know, it's part of their job and whatever. And this is what they like because, you know, they're um, part of this family or whatever. So you, the more uh, details you have about the actual character in uh, writing and so on, the easier all this stuff actually gets because you have more and more to build on. Um, but <clears throat> ah, I like our scared hippie. I think he's kind of cool. So uh, all right. So I'm just going to finish this up really quick. And if... Uh, I'm not I'm not really planning on doing much time lapse stuff, but if this ends up taking me too long, I'll time lapse it and then you know you won't have to watch me doing it for so long. So um wait a second now. This is his left hand. Okay, so Alright, so I think we gotta give him mm, he's gotta have tinier hands. Yeah, there we go. There it is. And Mostly just has to do with the art style. Okay, good. <clears throat> There's a funky looking hand. <laughs> all right, and then there we go. So, all right, belt and the belt buckle, belt loop, belt pocket, belt, uh, I mean, jeans, crunchies. Um, there, well, no, that, I guess that goes here. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, jeans, crinkles. Um, there we go. His butt. Actually, he's got to have more butt than that, doesn't he? There we go. Butt. And crinkle those jeans. And you can see I can even modify things that I didn't like about the underdrawing if the underdrawing wasn't super tight, which obviously I was drawing this pretty loose so it wasn't super tight um, so I can fix anything that I need to fix so but for the most part um, this is just me following what's uh, what's been put down and doing it with a little bit more brush work all right okay good and then here's his toes dun, 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 dun. okay Good sandal, and there we go. Sandal has some thickness. Great, wonderful, wunderbagen. Okay, and ankle and heel. Good, love it. And then I can just give this a little, there we go. All right, so there's that, here's his ankle, here's his heel. There's his toes kind of, ah, he's like, even his toes are curling because he's so afraid, because he's terrified. All right, and then there we go. Mm -hmm. So what I would do to show character poses is draw the things that are the most representative of that character. I know that's pretty obvious, but... For instance, like here is a nervous, shy guy that's afraid of stuff. So right now I'm drawing him, you know, very actively being afraid of something. Um, and 
But, you know, like the, my next pose, what should I draw? Uh, you know, it would probably be something more subtle, like of him being more just shy and nervous, right? Like trying to talk to a girl or trying to buy some milk at the grocery store, you know, like, and how does he look when he does that stuff? So that's, that's also useful to see. All right. So here we go. That's all decent. Um, let me just clean up that line. Yeah. All right. So that's good. Um, here we go. Let's put this in there. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him the, uh, the full flannel effect, which again, I'm going because I don't really want to spend that much time on it. I'm going more for flannel esque than for the exact pattern that you could Google and find for flannel. Um, so if you want us to take the time and make like a proper rugged, uh, you know, homage to uh, all the lumberjack in your life that you uh, love and adore, go right ahead and uh, do flannel the full right way. I'm basically just going to draw a grid and call it a day, which is honestly how I've seen most flannel drawn in most shows. Um, cause drawing patterns like over and over again on an animated character is a real, can be a real bear. Okay. So here we are. That looks pretty decent to me. So, okay. So we got our flanaman and yes, good, good, good. Cool. All right, so here's our uh, finished drawing based on, no, I guess that was fine how it was. Um, here's our finished drawing based on our under sketch, which was super loose, and then we have our finished drawing, and that's how you can bring an idea from just a couple of words to like an actual finished drawing. Um, and then, you know, uh, from here, you might go into uh, to color work or something like that. Um, and try to make a sheet, a worksheet, to uh, show you know what this guy looks like in different poses when he's sad, angry, um, that kind of stuff. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to go all the way through with with that. I could do a turnaround and on all the rest of it, but because this isn't a character I'm actually planning on using for anything, I probably won't do that unless uh, you guys actually ask me to. So <laughs> uh, let me know what you think about that. But um, this is pretty much the end of the show here for this guy. Oh, uh, there is one thing though, he's afraid of cats. So I, I had to put that in there. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, here is our scared hippie character who is uh, afraid of cats. And uh, here is uh, uh, where we're gonna end it for a character design uh, series for this part. I think I'm gonna touch base on maybe um, uh, you know, designing another character, like an animal character, um, or doing some color work, because uh, uh, choosing color palettes is like another thing. Um, but anyway, if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, you know, I mean, questions are comments, put them in the comments, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Anyway, this is Game Slayer. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Good.